Hi, and welcome to Unit 2 in Week 1. Today we're going to explore our second medium, sound. I will record a song and will experiment a little bit with the recording and its characteristics. We start with a little helper script. We want to build a metronome so we can record our sound in the right timings. For a metronome we need a thing that can move around. So I will first start drawing a costume at the costumes tab. Our costume is just going to be like a line. Maybe I'll increase the brush size a little bit. And then I'm going to draw the line. I also want to set the rotation center of my line to another position. So usually the rotation center of a costume is at the center of the costume. Now I want it to be at one of the tips of my line. Here I have my metronome and now I want to rotate it. What the metronome is supposed to do is it's going to one side, then it's waiting for a little bit and then it's going to the other side waiting a little bit again and then so on and so forth. To point, let the, let the metronome point into a direction we can use the point in direction block. Maybe let's start with 315 um, and the other side so that's that and the other side should be 45 degrees. That's that. So our metronome is now moving between these two directions and in between it should rest. I could use a weight block for that. So the weight blocks from the control category work with time. So here I can enter a time in seconds that my script is going to wait at that position. As we're dealing with music this time we want to use an other way of defining time. So in music you use beats to do that. In the sound category you can find a block that is called rest for a specific number of beats. The time that I have then depends on the beats per minute or the speed that my, that my sound has. I can set the tempo of my sound with the set tempo block. So let's try that. I will add the rest block in here and we're going to rest for one beat. Then we're going to point in the other direction and go on to rest for one beat again. And we want to do that all the time. So we're going to wrap a forever loop around that. Now my microphone, uh, my microphone, my metronome is moving with 60 beats per minute, which is kind of slow. I can make it even slower if I, for example, enter 30 beats per minute here. So it's just changing. 30 or it's having 30 beats in one minute so one beat every two seconds. Um, what we could also do is um, faster. I will try 100 and as I click that block now you can see that my metronome is now moving faster. So the beats are one abstraction layer that we can use for timings in when working with sounds. Now let's go to the recording part. Before we start our recording, we want to turn on the turbo mode of our project. Turbo mode has a greater time precision, so we can work better with the timings then. There are two ways to start turbo mode in Snap. One is to shift click and then uh, to, to click shift and then press the green flag. As you can see here, the green flag changes its look from a green flag to a green lightning. Then the turbo mode is turned on. If you don't want to use the shift clicking thing, you can also go to the sensing category and at the bottom you can find a set block with different settings. Here you can also find turbo mode and when you use that toggle thing, um, or toggle input, you can set that to uh, true. And if I click now, wait, let me turn the turbo mode off first. If I click that block now, you can see that, I, that you also get the green lightning thing. Turbo mode is on again. Okay, let's record the song. To record something, we have the sound category here or the sound um, tab at our um, sprites tab section. And if I click on that, I get a recording symbol. If I click that, I get a small sound recorder. It's pretty basic, but you can record sounds, you can replay them, and you can save them to use them in your project. I'm going to record a song now. 
and it's going to be in time of my with my metronome. So one, two, three, four. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Okay, let's try that. I have my recording now stored here in the recording section and I can go back to the scripts and now use and explore that. We have different blocks that we can use which are all in the sound category. Let's try it first with the <laughs> off sound. I can select my sound here and I want that recording and now I can find out different things about my recording. The things that I can find out are listed in the input slot here. Um, so you can see I can find out the name of the recording. It's called recording. I can also find out its duration. It's nine seconds. And I can also find out other interesting things. So for example, the sample rate of my sound recording. Sample rate means the number of units, which are called samples when working with sounds, that are recorded per second. So usually re you record with 44,100 hertz, which means 44,100 units samples per second. I can use that information now to play my sound with different frequencies or, or, or playing sample rates. Let's, whoa. oh God, what have I done? Let's zoom back um, and let's use the play sound at a given hertz rate block. I can select my recording here and if I click that now, you see that the input is the same as the sample rate was, so I have I should get back my regular sound that I just recorded. Let's try it just to be sure. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Awesome, that worked. Now we can also try to use other um, playing rates here. For example, I could play it with only 22,050 hertz. Let's check out how that sounds. I, I will stop that at that point. Uh, you see that the sound is played at a lower pitch and it takes way longer because I'm only playing half the number of samples in the same time. What happens if I use a higher rate? That's an effect you might know uh, from when you ever tried uh, to make your voice sound like Mickey Mouse. Um, you have the same thing as before. You have the double number of samples now in the same time, so in one second. So my, uh, my sound pitch is way higher than it was before and the sound is shorter. What else can we do with the sound? For example, we could try to make a round out of it. For that, I can play the sound multiple times. F to do things multiple times, you can use a loop. So in this case, I'm going to use the repeat two loop because I want to play the song twice and I want to play my recording now. For that, I can use the usual play sound block because I don't want to change anything at the hertz rate. I just want to play the regular sound. If I play the sound like that twice, Roll, roll, it will roll just boat, gently down the street. It will just be the same sound played twice right after the first one started, so you can't really hear the difference. What we have to do for that is add another rest um, block here. So we should wait or we should rest for four beats to get around. Let's try that. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently roll, down roll, the stream. Roll, roll your boat gently merrily, down merrily, the stream. Merrily, merrily, life merrily, is but a merrily, dream. merrily, life is but a dream. <laughs> so um, that was my um, one-person chorus. You can also increase the number of repeats that you want to try. You can try different songs. 
Um, now it's your turn. We also prepared some exercises that you can do with this project and we can't wait to hear you sing. See you in the next video.